Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we're going to be unboxing two lovely customer donations that have come into one of my retail stores. I'm going to be looking for things that I can upcycle as well as things that I can restore and resell in my Etsy, eBay, Poshmark and High Street shops. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe below. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with the small bag first. We've got what looks like a silver half hoop stud earring. Not sterling silver. Nice hoop nonetheless. And we have a ring that has some script on it. Let's get that focused for you. Latin maybe. Ah, we've got a cross. So it's probably a religious script. Might be a thumb ring maybe. Not silver again, but maybe aluminium or something like that. It's a nice ring. We've got a broken bracelet. That is sadly... Oh, it may be fixable, but it's missing a crystal there. So I'll see what I can do with the parts of that one. This looks like it could be a silver chain. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, a lovely set of marks. L-A-O... And then a set of British silver hallmarks. Anybody know the maker LAO? It's a really pretty silver chain. That's a good piece. That will be reused to hang a nice pendant from. This is a costume gold tone chain. And I think it might be an anklet. Oh no, maybe it is a bracelet. Yeah, it's a bracelet. So I can hang something from that and use it for something. And then we've got a piece of cord, which can be used for stringing beads and things on. So that's a lovely little donation. I don't know who it's come from, but if you're watching, thank you so much. Now, the larger one I have tipped into two trays for us to look through. Very intrigued to see what this is. We've got beautiful peacock feathers. Oh my goodness, it's earrings. Wow check that out this is bigger than my hand those are amazing oh you'll have to let me know in the comments do i make these into separate earrings or do i keep them as big earrings and just pop them onto some fresh hooks what do we think those are cool i think that's a record breaker these are the biggest earrings i've ever had either as a donation or as a thrift they're amazing how cool. This person obviously likes their big earrings because we've got a great big hoop there. And a fabulous daisy statement necklace. Sadly missing a stone from there. We'll have to see if it's in the bag. I will likely use these pieces and turn them into something else. Possibly earrings for the pears and pendants for the larger ones. So that will be rescued. Gosh, it's quite a big statement piece maybe I could just remove that one somehow I'll have a look at it and see what can be done with it oh there's the other one of those hoops and a choker that takes me back to my teenage years when chokers were such a thing um that could just that looks pretty clean that could have just have something hung from it and reused oh wow and some more feathers look at those They are beautiful. Those will likely just go onto new hooks and probably into one of my shops. Okay, so we've got through one tray already. Let's see what's in this one. This looks intriguing. This, I think, yes, is a Lynx of London. That's a nice um, donation. Thank you very much. This, um, I haven't seen this type of chain before. I think this might be a vintage one. There's a beautiful heart. Has that got the Lynx logo on it? I wonder if that's just part of the, the original class that might have been on there when they bought it. And then there's another heart, Big Ben. My daughter has this one. And then that looks like a world. It's very well worn. I wonder if this person maybe wore it every day and didn't take it off 
it's got that lovely worn look but it will clean up beautifully the silver will be gleaming once I've cleaned that up and we'll see that will probably most likely get listed in my online shops I'll have a look see if I've got any other links charms in my stash because I might be able to add to it if I do I've just nipped out and cleaned the links of London and given it a polish and that is now gleaming too isn't it beautiful it is quite worn you can see on Big Ben there has taken a bit of a knock he's maybe got caught in something but still a very wearable bracelet that's lovely what should we look at next what does this say east so that's a nice high street shop this is pretty but it is losing some plating I may take the charms and beads off that and make them into earrings and things. So I'll have a play with that. What's this sparkly one I see? Oh, we've got a safety bar. That is always a good sign, isn't it? And we've got a mark. Let's have a look. What does that say? Can we focus? Let me undo it. It's a nine carat. This is gold. My goodness, that is a very generous donation. Nine carat gold with a safety bar. And a beautiful stone. I think that's probably glass. But we can test that with the Presidium. Let's give this a quick test and say I think that it's glass. But let's have a look at the needle and see where it goes on the Presidium. Yes, it is glass. Isn't it beautiful though? I wonder how old it is. There's no safety on the catch, so it could be easily 100 years old. Stunning. That's a really beautiful piece. Thank you so much to my customer. I don't even know who you are. I feel terrible for um, not being able to give you a proper thanks. But if you're watching, that's super generous. Thank you very much. Wow, what a what a bag this is. Now these ones I think are from Accessorize and I say that because I own these hoops. I bought them at the airport on the way to a holiday once. Um, they're just costume. I'll double check, they've got some verdigris on so those ones are not gold. Uh, but pretty hoops nonetheless. Some more statement earrings, look at those. They will be fab for um, the autumn. What's this? Oh, studs. Well, they're quite fun, aren't they? I think I'll probably just cut those here and put those onto hooks because those are quite cool. They're just a costume plating. I can see the plating wearing off them, but they're fun ones. Just filling another little tray here with earrings so I don't have too much sorting. Whenever I film these, I have so much sorting afterwards. So I'm trying to sort as I go today. We've got a pair of crosses. Again, statement ones. They can go onto new hooks. What have we got here? That has the look of silver. Nope. It's <laughs> nice. Studs, I like that um, knotty style. Oh, these are nice boho ones. There's the other one. Oh, those are fab. They'll go onto new hooks. That looks like silver. No magnetism. And a 95 on the back. And see the other one here they are plastic but to look like turquoise which is interesting because they have put them on sterling silver perhaps they're artisan ones like those well that's an interesting hoop i didn't even realize what that was at first that's fun costume ones again a bit of famous hair there pop that other way Ah, that's the broken bit off that necklace, so I can repair that one. Great, I'll pop that with it. We've 
We've got some little huggy, well, a little huggy hoop. I love this style of hoop and wear them in my cartilage piercings at the top. I can't see any markings on it. Is it even silver or gold? I think it's silver that's tarnished a little bit. That one will need testing. So I'll put that to one side. Oh, that's a pretty one. It's got a rainbow, a rainbow of crystals around it. Let's take that one with the magnet. That's not magnetic either, so that one could be silver. This one, yep, has a look of costume, but pretty. Oh, wow, this is another earring. Look at that. I'd like to meet this person. They've got fabulous taste in huge earrings. Is there another one? There is another one. Oh, they make a fabulous noise. Can you hear that? Love those. They will go onto new hooks and probably into one of the shops. We have another cross here. With a key. Oh, it's really pretty. Oh, it's Swarovski. It's got the little Swarovski swan on the clasp there. But not silver because the plating's coming off which is a bit of a shame. And it's lost some of its crystals here. That is a shame. I think that might have to go into craft, that one. It's a costume stud. Whoops. Can't see another one of those. Oh, there's the other rainbow stud. Those are really sweet. Oh. It's got no stud part. Did I just break that? I don't think I did. I think it was just missing. So that's why the other one was in there. I can see a bit of green on there, which makes me wonder if they're not silver, but I will test them. This is one of those ear climbers, but I don't think it's silver. No. And there's another one. This has the look of a silver hoop. Let's test that. Yeah, not magnetic. So I think that one probably is silver, but again, we'll need a test. What have we got sitting down here? Those are pretty, aren't they? They are just costume. What about these ones? They've got a 925 on the back. For sterling silver. Oh, this is a shame. That's a pretty bracelet, but it's actually snapped here. So that one, sadly, I don't think I can fix because it's so small. You would need such a tiny ring to fix that. What a shame. I th might have to go into scrap. I don't know. I'll have a think on it. And what's this one? We've got a 925 on the clasp. Oh, sweet. Three little hearts. That's lovely, isn't it? Wow. So we've got a whole pot, a whole tray of silver and gold. Let's have one more look at that pin and the links of london charm bracelet this was a very very generous customer donation thank you whoever you are i really really appreciate it i can't wait to get on and start working with these things if you're new here please do check out the channel and consider subscribing drop me a like if you've enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye